Good morning and welcome to East Texas Baptist University's Spring 2020 Degree Conferral. I'm honored to be with you this morning as we pay tribute to the new graduates of East Texas Baptist University. Each of you Tigers, congratulations on earning your bachelor's and master's degrees. We celebrate with you what you've accomplished and we rejoice in what you've overcome to gain the right to be called graduates of East Texas Baptist University. Yesterday I was thinking of you as I read from Richard Stern's book, The Hole in the Gospel. Stearns, who's the president of World Vision, discusses Jesus' parable of the mustard seed in the last chapter of the book, A Mountain of Mustard Seeds. In Matthew 13, Jesus compares the coming of the kingdom of God on earth to the tiny mustard seed, which man took and planted in his field. Jesus says, though it's the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it's the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. Stearns reflects that although the kingdom may seem small and powerless, but once it's planted and takes root, it grows exponentially in power, in size, and influence. Imagine that. If this tiny seed can grow so significantly, then think about what a mountain of mustard seeds can do. Each of you graduates, each of you, through your faith in God, represents the mustard seed. Together, from the light on this hill at East Texas Baptist, you are a mountain of mustard seeds. Go forward and sow your seeds to impact the kingdom of God as the light of Christ. He has called you. He has united us together in faith and truth as we work to share and spread the gospel as Christian servant leaders. East Texas Baptist graduates, with your education, you are equipped and empowered as Paul charged Timothy in 1 Timothy 6 to pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. And oh, how you have persevered these last two and a half months. Graduates, Paul continues, fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have declared so well before many witnesses. And that you have. You, ETBU graduates, have been a model of faithfulness and determination to achieve all that we celebrate today and in the coming days with your official commencement services. Paul concludes that charge to Timothy. And I give you the same charge. Follow God's call on your life. Follow his instructions to live faithfully, never wavering from what has been entrusted in your hearts and minds here at East Texas Baptist and in the Word of God. We praise God for what he's done in your life, for what he's doing in your life now, and what we know he will do as he carries you forth in the call that he has on your life. Today, I'm honored to be joined by East Texas Baptist University Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Thomas Sanders. Dr. Sanders will come and present the candidates for degree conferral. Dr. Sanders. Students, eight weeks ago when we were at spring break and the idea of you all not returning to campus um, was really a, an idea that I really struggled with because I believe that this community, this place on the hill was uh, incredibly important to your education. So much so that it probably got in the way of, of, of really me seeing the bigger picture. But the bigger picture for me over time became the reality that this hill uh, doesn't define or limit our education. Uh, this hill doesn't define what God can do because in reality, even though this community is super important, it's an incredible place for our students to grow and develop and, and find their calling. Uh, God's spirit and power is, is limitless. It knows no boundaries. And through the compassion and the commitment of our faculty and our staff, we began to think about this whole idea of how we could educate you in the last eight weeks of this semester. And so I really began to really think about this differently. The light on the hill in front of Marshall Hall was kind of the beginning of it. When I began to see that that light on the hill shines across the world and how it shines across the world is through our graduates, through our alumni, 
as they spread the word across the country, across the world. And I started to think about really the last eight weeks has been an early deployment. It's been a way for you all to begin this journey toward your career just eight weeks early. We had the opportunity to train you for you to be in, in this retreat setting in this area so that when that day comes for you to take that job, to move into that career, that you're ready. God's taught me many things. And most importantly, he's taught me that our students and our faculty and our staff are amazing and that God's power can equip us to do anything if we listen to him and we're obedient. I wanna pray with you at this moment and just celebrate what God is going to do in your life. And then I'm going to read the statement that confers your degree. But know this, that we love you and we have missed you, but we're excited to see you in a few weeks. And we're more excited to see how God uses this last eight weeks to prepare you for the future. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you so much for this opportunity the opportunity for us to refocus, to pause, to retreat. And we know that during this time that you have used these moments, these struggles, even losses, you're going to use all of those to better prepare our graduates, our faculty and staff for what's to come. We thank you for this opportunity to be on this hill together and for this opportunity to experience being spread out so that your light could be shining in so many places. We thank you for this university and for all that you do through this place. In your son's name, amen. Dr. Blackburn, in accordance with the requirements established by the faculty for their major fields of study, I certify these individuals as candidates for a degree from East Texas Baptist University. Dr. Sanders, thank you for your extraordinary leadership and the commitment of our dedicated faculty to prepare these students, now graduates, for the degrees for which you have presented. By the authority vested in me, by the East Texas Baptist University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you graduates the appropriate bachelor's and master's degrees with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining to your degrees. Congratulations, the Spring 2020 graduating class of East Texas Baptist University. <laughs> Dr. Sanders and I are pleased to announce that East Texas Baptist University will hold in-person commencement ceremonies on Saturday, June 13. We will hold two separate commencement services divided by schools at 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. These commencement services will be held in Baker Chapel right here in the Rogers Spiritual Life Center. As is our tradition at East Texas Baptist, our commencement service is a worship service where we give praise to God for what He's done in your life and we celebrate all that you have accomplished with your graduation from ETBU. We look forward to joining together as a university family to pay tribute to your achievements and to send our prayers with you as you follow God's paths for your lives. We ask for your flexibility and patience as we devise the safest and healthiest plan possible in order to host our in-person commencement worship services. Dr. Sanders will share more detailed information via email about our commencement services. 
the protocols and requirements for you and your guests to join in the celebration and worship. We're so excited to see you back on the Hill on June 13th. We're excited to celebrate with all the pomp and circumstance you deserve. On behalf of the ETBU family, we say, Congratulations, Congratulations East Texas, Texas Baptist University, University graduates. <laughs>